Well, hello everyone to this video for Raid Shadow Legends. I'm a little bit torn about how to do this video because the key to being successful at YouTube, there's actually two of them as far as I know. The first and main one is to be passionate about what you're doing and that goes right into the second key which is to keep things upbeat. And I have a problem already because I talk and I sound like my words are slurred. I sound like I'm drunk or I'm tired. And that low energy is not appealing to viewers. They want a high energy, not annoyingly high, but they want enthusiasm. They want to have your passion for whatever it is you're doing a video to come through. And I also did not want, when I did this video, I didn't want to be like one of these sensationalized type things where I'm quitting or something like that. Plus, it seems kind of stupid. Like, I've been in this situation with when I tried to do a Minecraft Let's Play, I quit after just trying to do a few episodes. I just couldn't take it. Nobody was really watching them. Well, that tells you right there that I must not have been very passionate about at least the playing the Minecraft through a Let's Play. Um, because otherwise I wouldn't have wanted to quit and I've already been through this whole saying I'm going to quit thing too early before. I haven't really even tried to build up anything in Raid yet and I still am interested in being part of their Creators Club. Unfortunately, the things that I have to say tonight might cause me problems trying to gain entrance to that. But it's a moot point because I don't have a huge amount of views and subscribers in time anyway. A year from now, probably what I'm saying here won't even matter. I don't know. Anyway, in the thumbnail, you will see a picture of one of our artifact enhancement events. I believe it was the artifact enhancement event 2. And it was the only event where you could get stitched beasts. Which is, if you look here at the fusion, it's the only way to get this guy. Now, you might be able to summon this guy if you're incredibly lucky through a sacred shard, especially uh, a sacred or ancient shard, especially in a double raid event. But I think it would be easier to get Stitched Beast because it's only a rare and it's a void so void usually tends to give you the low ranking rares anyway but here's my problem i don't know if i have any good examples on hand but it seems like all the time that i get every other kind of rare except for things like i always seem to be getting this guy for example or this guy in fact i can prove to you that i get that dwarf a couple of different times I've gotten so many copies of them. Here's one right here. So I'm almost positive that if I were to do the summoning, I would end up with uh, not Stitched Beast. It would be a miracle to get that. However, because I wanted to make this video a little bit interesting and give people a reason to watch, I'm going to pull my one and only Void Shard at the end of the video. I do not expect to get Stitched Beast. If that happens, this will be the coolest freaking video ever because it's nothing that I could have planned, but I doubt it very highly. There is one other way to complete the fusion if you fail to get Stitched Beast and Build Up or any of the other uh, characters for that particular character to build it up, and that is a Summon Rush, or there's a, I think it was a second champion training event. And you could have gotten, I think it's Busho or whatever his name is, if you had enough points. But the points that I would have needed to get him were somewhere in the vicinity of 20,000 points. And to give you an idea of how much that is, if you can summon a legendary during a non-double raid event, you get 500 points. So, 500 times, what is that, 4? No. 40? No, that's not 40. Is it 40? It could be 40. Yeah, it's 40. 40 for 20,000 points. I think my math is right on that. I would have to get outside of a legendary event, and I would have to have 40 crystals or ancient shards or sacred shards to do it, 
to get the 500 points per legendary to get the points to be able to have gotten uh, Busho. There'd be no other way to do it, and you can't do it slowly. This is something that I think it's it's meant for people who are getting, uh, I would say, 10,000, maybe not 10,000, maybe 1,000 points, maybe 1,000 to 5,000 points every day just through the normal buying and activities, and I don't get anywhere near that when I'm leveling up and training even for food. So there would have been no way to do it the other way, which would be to get the epic that I needed and then do the fusion. So essentially the game sucks, as I said, because I have absolutely no way to complete the fusion. Look at where I am. I have these three and I'm training them up and uh, getting them ready to go, but it's, it's a moot point now because I have no way to get him, very little chance of ever getting him, less chance of getting him in an Ancient Shard than I have of getting this guy out of a Void Shard. I do have these other three. So I can't do the fusion. The fusion is dead for me. That's just the end of it. Not just because they only gave one event and they put it on the, I want to say a bad word, I'm going to try to censor myself. They put it on the hardest event. They put it on an artifact enchantment or enhancement event. So not only did they only do it on one event, they also put it on the absolute hardest event. And the only way to get points on those artifact enhancement or enchantment, and I have probably the wrong word, uh, the only way to get the points on those events is to work on your five and six star gear. If you try to work on any of your lower gear, like four star or under, you're wasting your time. You're never going to get anywhere unless you have millions of silver and millions of pieces of gear. And I don't know how you'd be able to fit all that in your account because it would take a vast amount of four and three and two and one star gear to get anywhere in those enhancement events. The good points, the points that matter, are going to be on your 6 and 5 star gear and are going to be on levels 8 through 16, which is maxing it out. And what I found, what happened, and I'm going to go ahead and be a little bit of a conspiracy theorist, every single piece of 6 star gear I had was giving me 30 to 40 freaking rolls before it would go to the next level and I just didn't have enough silver. I ended up, and I'll prove it to you, I actually ended up eating into my own artifact. I had five and six star and legendary and other kinds of stuff here. It wasn't very good gear. I'd already been through it a little bit. Some of that might have been decent, but uh, I had all of that. I've just started building it up today. This is how far I got, but I sold all of this. I had all of this a life gear, all of this offense gear, I sold it all because I was trying at the very last minute to try to get some points and the only way I could do it is try to upgrade from 8 to 12 and usually I would be successful at that more often than not. But not this time, no. No, this time trying to do on my 6 star gear from 8 to 12 it was just as hard as trying to go from 12 to 16. I even used all the tricks, I even canceled out the game like half a dozen times before it would finalize because I was trying to save my silver and just try the different, two different, I think I showed you in my other videos how to upgrade it. But I already knew before that it's very difficult during those artifact enhancement events to get any of your gear up anywhere. Uh, I know that Salt says that the, that the RNG is set in the gear when you get it. I suspect, and Playroom can tell me I'm wrong, I won't know if I'll believe them, they can try to prove it if they want, but I suspect that Playroom is actually kind of observing certain people or observing all of us or whatever. My guess is they have some kind of like a, a database or something that somebody kind of watches. So when they have these enhancement events, they just sit there and make sure they amp up the, the RNG difficulty of getting any good rolls and, and getting any good stats and getting any successful rolls just during those en enhancement events. It would be interesting to test it. The easy way to test it would be for me if I get enough silver, which I'm not going to get anytime soon, I'm broke now, but if I got enough silver, I, I could sit there and I could try to do some 8 to 12s and 12s to 16s to see if it's just as hard now as it was before. I bet you it won't be, but it would be different gear, so it's not really a valid test. 
I'm just going to be a conspiracy theorist a little bit there and say that I think that things were amped up and, and changed and made more difficult. And it probably was across the board for everyone. Although I could be wrong. They could have had bugs. They could have had server errors. I could have just had bad luck. So, but I want I want to blame Plarium and I want to I want to be I want to have a bit of an attitude towards them right now. So I'm going to, and you're just going to have to deal with it because I am not happy with the game right now, and I'm not happy with them. And other reasons that I wouldn't say that I'm quitting my account is because uh, when I, if the time comes that I stop playing raid, uh, I won't be. There's going to be a certain way that I'm going to be stopping when I stop play, if I stop playing raid, but I can't say publicly what that way is because that'll get plarium all over my case, and and I don't want to have issues with them. I'll just say that I do have plans in place, especially if I break a phone or a laptop or something while trying to play this. Um, as I've mentioned in previous videos, I came from Transformers Forge to fight, and lately with Raid, I have just been having, on top of this, this whole shenanigans with trying to enchant artifacts, not having enough silver, and losing out on my only chance to get this legendary that I really badly wanted, because she's just really cool, and it'd be cool to have another barbarian that I would love to have. But now I'm not going to get to have her, unless I pull her somehow during another double raid event, which would be awesome, but it still wouldn't make up for all the crap I've had to go through. And then in dealing with this arena, uh, I am in, as you can see here, bronze four. I actually made it into silver one, then they did the ranking period, and that knocked me back out, but I did get a good haul out of it. But I was trying to find somebody in here that I could actually defeat. I've learned to kind of read these teams, and sometimes I can figure out which of this collection of champions I can beat that would be a little slower because I can win by sheer speed, even if they're a little higher in, in number and value than my team. But this is what I've been seeing, okay, folks? And it may not seem like that bad because you're only seeing a few legendaries here, but I guarantee you every single one of these, especially the ones with the speed person in front, if I went in there, I would be dead in no more than three of their turns. I wouldn't even get a turn. I guarantee it. I know this. I've gone through this many times. It is broken and it is not working. And that is adding to my frustration and aggravation. And now, on top of everything else, look at what I'm dealing with here in Tag Team. It's slowly getting just as bad. Although I am still finding a few here in Tag Team that I can actually go through. But I've got some pretty bad uh, teams matchups here now. I'm making the best of it, and I'm not going to sit here and rant and complain. I'm just going to point out that I've been having a very bad experience with the game. I'm not enjoying myself, and I have put my foot down, and I have stated, and it is law. It is Medes and Persians engraved in stone. You can look that up on Google if you don't know what that refers to. Uh, that's from my previous life as a Christian. I'm not a Christian anymore, but when I was a Christian, that was something that we used to talk about. But anyway, if I, if I break my laptop or I break my phone or anything like that over when I'm playing this game, that is, I will immediately begin the proceedings that I have planned of stopping and I won't play Raid anymore and I won't be doing any more videos. Because I don't have the money to go through and get another phone. I had to get the phone as it was, save it up over months, and get it over at Swappa. And my phone, if I'm going to do YouTube, that's my camera. That's all I have. I don't have anything else. And I don't have another laptop. I have no way to replace either device. And my laptop is eight years old at least. So, and my gaming computer is a little bit better specs, but it's also eight years old and it's hardware. So I'm doing the best I can with what I got. I'm trying not to complain, but I already lost one phone to Transformers Forge to fight, and maybe even two phones to that stupid game. And that's why I quit playing it. And that one I did just quit and stop playing. I don't know if I deleted my account or not. I'm never going to go back to it more than likely. But... Uh, with Raid, it'll be a little bit different how I'm going to work because of some things that I learned. 
But in any case, I did spend money on the game too. I only spent three bucks because I didn't have much money to spend. And I bought a little pack that gave me some energy. I gambled on if I had enough energy, that would be the most bang for my buck. And I would be able to get everything that I would need silver-wise to do my upgrades. Okay, I guess that covers it. So I'm kind of disappointed in the game. I'm, I'm unhappy right now. But I'll tell you what, if I can pull Stitch Beast or something amazing and better from the single non-double raid event pull, you know, that would be kind of cool. And I made a boo-boo. I don't have enough silver to do the pull. So I might have to pause the video and come back because I've got to get some silver. I, I didn't. You know what? No, I don't have to. I'm going to do something that's going to make... Uh, Salt cringe because he hates it when people do stupid things like this, but I'm going to do this because I promised to do this. I don't have any other use for the gems right now, so to heck with it. I'm going to do this. So go forgive me, Salt, for being a bad boy and doing that. I could have gone the other route and used the arena, but I'm going to wait and use that for a ancient shard. So now I've got enough silver. Let's do this single pull. I'm only going to do this void shard. You can laugh at my expense if I pull something really stupid, and you can cheer if I pull something really great. Let's cross our fingers and hope for the best. I'm afraid my attitude's not very good right now, and I think that'll have an effect on what we see. Let's find out. It's a rare. Oh, there you go. As I suspected, but at least it wasn't the same old of all the other guys that I always get. I didn't expect to actually get what I needed. I'll use him for food. All right, well, that concludes this video. I guess I'll see you guys in... No, I guess. I will see you guys in the next video. Uh, I have a few different things to cover, as I promised, some clan-type stuff and a few other things. So we'll do that next time. See you later.